Good morning, Eagle Nation. It's Tuesday. It's the 7th of March. It's the 129th day of school, and I misspoke yesterday. Today is actually the 40th day of this quarter, the 40th. So if you're keeping track or closing in on uh, your, your percentage for this quarter alone, today you would divide the number of days you've been present over 40. 40 is your denominator. So find out what that is, see how you've done. Um, we'll talk about the rest of school attendance in just a moment. Let's begin together with just a moment of silence. Please join me. Thank you. 40th day in the quarter. And now your morning announcements. A lot of energy in that song. That was a song dedication from um, Ethan Ramirez. Ethan, you dedicated that song on February 10th, but I just now had a chance to play it. So thank you for hanging in there. That was Megalovania, Toby Fox. Um, I will only dedicate this song for me. So Ethan had a day where he just needed one for himself. Well, Ethan, there you go. Hope that picks you up today. Wherever you may be, please stop and stand. Let's rise together for this morning's Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. And let's do ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep your back straight. Nine and ten. All right, I hope you're all doing okay out there. Today, there is a lot going on. This is our last full day this week because conferences are going on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Make sure you've made arrangements at home. Um, today is also our PBIS celebration, so be sure that you know where you are going at the end of the day. Um, and teachers have an idea of who's coming to you. Um, but stay tuned for that. It's a chance for us to celebrate all the hard work that you've done in this third quarter. And this is filled. So we'll be doing more raffles every day this week, even on the short days. Stay tuned for that. And even this is filled, which is fantastic because each one of these tokens, each one of these tickets represents a moment in which a teacher acknowledged or a staff member acknowledged a student who had a moment of demonstrating respect or responsibility or care. These are our school values. This is our school culture. And what a representation of all the different ways and all the different times students have demonstrated respect, responsibility, and care. It matters. You matter. Thank you for doing your part. In attendance today, yesterday was a Monday. Mondays are rough sometimes attendance-wise. Yesterday was not great for us. Our attendance rate was pretty low, 87.3. I know there's a lot of illness going around, so let's get healthy and get back to school. So far, our year to date has stayed strong, 89.1. So hopefully today will be better and we will update you as soon as we know. Also, if many of you may be aware, it is Women's History Month. And it's taken us a moment to get this started. And I apologize for that. But if you look below this video, you'll find some images. You might even recognize some of the, those women from history. Uh, and we'd like to celebrate one today. Today, we'd like to celebrate Anna Mae Wong. She appeared in over 60 movies throughout her career. She was the first Chinese-American film star in Hollywood. In addition to her role in silent films, television, and stage, Ms. Wong landed a role in one of the first movies made in Technicolor. And she's interna internationally recognized, and her legacy continues to influence entertainers around the world. She was born in 1905 in Chinatown area of Los Angeles, California. And if you would like to know more about her life and legacy, uh, please scroll below this video uh, when you have a, a moment today. And there's a link that will take you to learn more about her biography. And if you didn't know, she's also going to be the first um, Asian American who is represented on the new minted U.S. quarter. So take a look when you see Anna Mae Wong. Today, we celebrate you in Women's History Month. In addition to that, 
We are kicking off our March writing contest, and the directions are posted online. Teachers will get hard copies to put in your boxes so you can give them to students. But our question is this. How can one key event or moment change everything? You can interpret that however you will. How can one key event or moment change everything? It can change the outcome of a story. It could change the outcome of a movie or film. It could change the outcome of a historical event. It's up to you to decide. And this is going to be an informative essay. So you're going to choose a moment um, that demonstrates your point, And then you're going to inform us using facts and information and details about how that one moment in time changed the outcome. And maybe think about how that wouldn't have happened had that person or that event not been there. We'd love to see your writing. I also found out yesterday um, that eighth graders submitted their essays and I was not aware of them. So thank you, Ms. Nair, for bringing that to my attention. Students, thank you for your patience. I will be reading all your essays and I will have um, awards, additional awards by the end of this week. Stay tuned. I look forward to all of the writing that you have been doing. Last night was a very successful night um, for our pre-kindergarten, our preschool and kindergarten roundup. Thank you, Ms. Millett. Thank you, Ms. Brown. We had uh, 13 parents show up in total. Uh, we gave tours of our school. They did activities in the room. We took pictures of all of the kids um, and the families left um, happy and feeling good about who we are at Emerson and looking forward to starting uh, our, their students here in our school. It's the class of 2032. Think about that. They are you meaning you future eighth graders. That's them now showing up in 10 years from now. They're going to be you heading to high school. It's wild. Uh, we're happy to invite them to our school. Thanks for all your hard work. We'll do another one in April to keep building our enrollment and make sure that Emerson stays a strong and vibrant community. All right, let's do one shout out today. This is a shout out to Ms. Romero and to you, Ms. Hernandez. Welcome back and happy belated birthday. This is from Malik, who simply says, thank you for being the best teacher ever. Thank you, Ms. Romero and Ms. Hernandez. And thank you, Malik. You're the second student who submitted a shout out regarding a staff member or teacher. So thank you for recognizing the efforts of your teachers. I know it will go a long way. All right, let's get to some words of wisdom so you can get to the business of teaching and learning today. Today's on the topic of something that uh, it's really well-timed. I'll just put it that way. Stealing and honesty. Did you know that when a cashier hands you back too much change and you keep it, the cashier has to make up the difference from his or her own money? That's right. When you keep money that doesn't belong to you, it's the same as if you'd stolen it. Now, there's an old proverb from India that says, a thief is a thief whether he steals a diamond or a cucumber. Taking or keeping something that doesn't belong to you is stealing, no matter how you choose to look at it. You can make excuses, but the bottom line is this. Stealing, whether it is from a person or a business or a scholastic book fair, is wrong. In the end, somebody has to pay. If you've ever stolen something that didn't belong to you, stop and think about the consequences of that action. And then remember, it's never too make, late to make that right. With something to think about, this is Mr. Lodato. Mask up today, hand sanitized to stay healthy. Hats, hoods, and sunglasses off while you're indoors. And stay in your zones, put away your phones, and make it a great day or not. The choice is yours.